Welcome to the North Phoenix Suburban Stead. In this video, we're going to assemble and install a bench grinder. After an extensive amount of research and reading lots of reviews, I landed on the DeWalt DW756, which is a dual grinder, six inch wheels, and I bought it via Amazon. Nice. Before we start assembling, let's chat about why on the Suburban Stead did I purchase a bench grinder. Obviously, an answer would be for sharp tools. Yeah, got it. But the Suburban mindset was to buy new tools because new tools are sharp. Seriously. I have six different types of shovels for digging. I have six different types of rakes for lawn, leaves, rocks, and gardening. I have four different pruning shears, exactly the same, and two bypass loppers, exactly the same. Yes, yeah, some of those are for different uses, but I live in suburbia. Do I really need that type of quantity? No, what I really needed are sharp tools. Assembly is wicked easy. In fact, most of it already comes pre-assembled. Nonetheless, there are a couple of components. So get organized and we'll assemble the tool rests on both sides, as well as the eye shields. Where this is gonna get more challenging is when we mount it to the bench. I'm mounting the bench grinder on a mobile workbench which doubles as storage. Mobility and storage capacity are key requirements at the Suburban Stead. Space is limited and has multiple purposes. In this case, my workshop is also a garage where I park my car. But more on the mobile workbench in another video. I chose the position on the bench where I wanted to mount it, and then using the template from the user's guide, I marked the location for the mounting bolts. This is where it starts to get really fun. When I built the workbench, I wanted it at a certain height, including the one inch MDF on top. To do that, I had to lift it up three and a half inches. So I've got two by fours that you can't see that are under the top here that I've got to drill through those as well. Yeah, fun. Life on the Suburban Stead. This is the weekend warrior at its best. Happy about the positioning where it is on the bench, but not happy how it's crooked. I don't know if that's a sixteenth of an inch, it's an eighth of an inch. Either way, there's a gap. That type of stuff just irritates me to no end. So we're going to have to fix it. Here we go. All right, so let's inspect this and find the culprit. Yep, and there it is. <laughs> Look at that work. That's some fine craftsmanship right there. So the hole is crooked. The bolt doesn't go through the wood the appropriate way. It's not tight. The washer's not holding it down. So I grab this T-bracket, and my thought is if I can mount the T-bracket to those 2x4s, then I can go ahead and mount the bolt into the T-bracket and get that strength I'm looking for as well as making it even on the bench top.
fun continues. So I had to purchase a longer bolt to be able to make it down to that T bracket. But when I did that, and then I put the device back on, I don't even have any room to get the washers and the nut around it and then tighten down. So I've got to cut it. Before, after, nice. In the next video, we'll put the newly installed bench grinder to use. We'll sharpen the pruning shears, the bypass loppers, and a special bonus, camping axes. Thank you for visiting the channel and watching this video. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. We'll see you at the next video on the North Phoenix Suburbanstead.